Hello ladies and gents, today you'll get to uh, copy the exact assistant that I've made for my appointment booking within a few clicks. Great, so we are now in retail. If you haven't got an account, sign up for one and your screen will look like this. And also jump into the description below and you'll find uh, this URL here. It'll take you to, to a page that looks like this. This is how we are going to create our template. What you need is to jump into retail, uh, click on API keys, and we'll copy that over into my assistant creator and go to the template drop down, select the Serenity Appointment Setter YouTube. We'll name our assistant Appointment Setter YouTube. Copy my API key and let's create our assistant. Okay, so back in your retail account and back in agents, your agent should be here now with pretty much every single setting that I had. Now you might be really excited to jump in and just start testing and talking to it. However, there are a few extra things to change to make it work properly. I'm gonna go through step-by-step step on how to set everything up so it all works smoothly for you. Let's firstly go over how this prompt works. There are a few things to change in the prompt, so uh, let's jump into that. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Uh, essentially what you can do is you can also rename your agent. Uh, I've just called her Ellen. Uh, for, for now, I'm using the voice Eevee. However, I've actually used a different voice in my demo. If you click on Eevee, you'll get a bunch of choices come up. So 11 labs, uh, and then add custom voice, search. And then I type in Jessica. Now there's quite a lot of Jessicas here. Uh, the one that I've chose is an upbeat and lively sounding young American female would be an excellent storyteller. So that's the one that I chose. And you click on this, click on save and it imports the voice for you into your retail account. And then if you come into here, type in Jessica again, and then find the button that says use voice. I've just clicked on that and then now I should update with our voice that we've chosen. So I uh, just really like this voice. You guys can choose whatever you'd like, come in here and play around with any kind of voice that you'd um, uh, tickles your fancy and then the next thing we need to change is your country prefix so for me uh, it is 48 because uh, i'm in poland currently so if you're in america or, or canada uh, that would be uh, plus one for you and your iana time zone so for instance for me it, this is europe warsaw and if you're in america let's say this would be america slash new york and this will then convert the current time that is uh, in, that is currently in retail into your time zone. Uh, last thing we'll need to do in here is actually to put in your email. Now, uh, let me just explain a little bit the cow.com setup that we're about to do. So the reason why I don't want to ask for the person's email is that I've just found it to be not as reliable as I'd, I'd like it to be. So. Uh, basically what we're doing is just sending a placeholder email to our cow.com account, which will then that's what it's going to use to send all the no notifications to. Um, and the idea is with this appointment setup, we are, we only have the person's phone number. So, uh, if they miss an appointment or want to book an appointment or get a confirmation, it, it's all via SMS. Uh, so we're not actually sending anything to the email, which is hence why I've set it up like this. So. I'm just going to put in my dummy email here. Uh, so you put in like your business email or whatever you signed up with your Google account to cal.com. Um, so we we'll use that same calendar. Um, so that it doesn't like get sent to two separate uh, emails. Uh, and then that's it. Then you click on save. Uh, and now the last thing, like you can probably talk to it now. We just won't be able to get availabilities for you. So uh, to do that, we need to jump into cal.com. Okay, so let's set up cal.com. I've just logged in with a dummy uh, Google account. Uh, I'm gonna name it something. 28. Let's go save. And then choose your time zone, next steps. And again, my dummy like Google account, uh, and then just click on continue. And Google Meet's done for you already. Let's click on next step. 
Uh, let's put in your uh, availabilities. I work on Sundays and Sundays. However, my start time definitely isn't uh, 10 a.m. anymore. <laughs> Next step. I'm just testing, but you can put in whatever you'd like in here. Uh, finish step. And here we have a few meetings. I'm just going to use the pre-made 13 minute meeting for our uh, like setup right now. So uh, click on uh, the 30 minute meeting and please copy. So go to your row at the top and copy this number. I will then save it. I'm just gonna save that on my other screen for later. We don't need to change anything at all here except for the uh, conferencing. So you guys choose whatever you'd like. It can be the phone number, the Google Meet or the cow.com. I'm just gonna use the cow uh, video preset already there. And I'm just gonna keep it as is anyway. So that's what I'm choosing for that. Availability should be already done for me. So the times are chosen and go to advanced and uh, click on this button here. So the uh, my email will be uh, sent through as the organizer always, and we don't have to put in anything else in there anymore. Mm. Okay, and then the only other thing we need to add is a uh, one more question. And what you'll what you'll pick is the phone. And the identifier is phone, and the label is phone number. Then we click add. And this will allow our um, retail agent to know to uh, send a phone number that we've collected over to this field. And then just up here with the event name, you can change this to be whatever you'd like. So call between this and let's say scheduler with a, with a capital S. Uh, this will be the name of the person that uh, scheduled a call with you. So you could have that in there, for example. I'm just going to click on save. Once we've done all of this, let's go to the uh, bottom left here where it says settings. Then you'll find API keys section. Uh, add your first API key. Create an API key. So let's name this retail uh, one. I'll click on never expires. Save. And we'll copy that over to our document that we were uh, put the event type ID into before. And now cow.com's uh, finished. Let's jump back into retail. So that we've got now our event ID and our cow.com API key, we come into the functions dropdown. Uh, we have end of call already set up, book appointment, we don't have set up yet. So that's what we need to click on. There's a little pen next to the bin icon, click on that and we put it, our API key in here. I'm just gonna copy that and I'm going to copy my event ID as well. And we repeat the same process for the check availability function. So everything's already set up there. What we need to do is just to copy all that over and click on update. Oops, and one more thing I realized is the time zone. So for me, this stays as Europe Warsaw. However, for you, uh, that will be different and depend on whatever time zone you put in your prompt just before. Um, yeah, so just change this to whatever time zone you're in. Just click on update. Great, so that is now all set up and now you're welcome to play around with it. Uh, great thing about retail is that you can test via um, via this as well. So if you cannot be bothered uh, and uh, to talk into it or maybe your family is sleeping and you can't test, which is what happens to me most of the time, is a great alternative to this is, yeah, just a hello, my neck hurts. Uh, yeah, for Thursday. So I think Thursday is just after Christmas now. Maybe till the 26th, yeah. yeah. Deep tissue is good. So as she said, we have abilities for 11 a.m., uh, 12 p.m. or 11 p.m. So let's do uh, 11 a.m. The morning would be better for me. And could I have your name and phone booking? Yep, so Henrik. And my number is
Great, so now that's done. And yeah, here we go. So back in my calendar, we've got deep tissue massage at 11 a.m. And yes, yeah, so in here, when you click on this, this is why I wanted to show you guys the uh, the two placeholders. Uh, otherwise, Cal.com won't actually let you book the appointment. Uh, and then that's the person's phone number that uh, booked with us. And now from there, we can send them confirmation, SMSs and uh, whatever else. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and how, how easy it was to copy over that agent. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, this will be a single prompt agent. There are uh, multi-prompt agents that have a lot more flexibility and a lot more tools uh, that we have built. So a bit more advanced versions of those. Um, you'll find those in our Voice AR Bootcamp. You can uh, click on the uh, description below as of uh, today's date, which is the 24th of uh, December, uh, 2024. Um, there is a wait list, however, early January, we're expecting to release the course fully. So um, hopefully see you there and um, love, would love to see you learn in progress with us as we uh, jump into 2025.